Jay was full of helpful tips, and this morning's were about how to make the most of the space in your caravan. So I had one bent over the table here. There was one up here I was fingering. I was just toe-fucking the one on the floor. Whilst your parents were sleeping in bump beds just over there. Quality. It's amazing how good you are with birds, Jay. What can I say? It's a gift. So when do we get to meet these three lucky ladies? We well, can't. They've gone back to the Playboy Mansion. Of course, because if you lived in the Playboy Mansion, you'd definitely holiday in Great Yarmouth. Well, they did. I told you you should have come on holiday with us, Si. I don't want made-up Playboy models. I just want a nice girlfriend who'll maybe have sex with me. I read in my sister's gratia that birds like it if you ask them questions. If you want to get a girlfriend, you should probably try that. Really? Yeah, that works. Of course, the only question I ask him is which hole do you want it in first? Great, thanks. What are you lot up to? Is Jay showing you where he used to shag the cushions? He thinks me and his mum don't know about that. <laughs> Come on, Dad. We've had to replace the covers twice. Jay was just telling us about the birds he pulled in Norfolk. Oh, right, was he? Yeah, you remember, right, Dad? Well, he's a total bullshitter, then. Because the only pussy he's ever touched was his mum's when he fell out of it. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a wind-up merchant. So with Mr Cartwright confirming that Jay hadn't hosted an orgy on the fold-out table, we began to question a few other things he'd said. Oh, yeah, what else have I ever said this bullshit? That your mate can squeeze himself into a microwave? Yeah, a good-sized one. That your dad fought Muhammad Ali as an amateur and beat him? It was on a points decision. I know, it was just from this morning. I could go on. Wankers. This fag's not funny. Holy shit. Was Donovan smoking drugs? In the open? On a school day? Don't shit yourself talk to Frank. It's just a bit of puff. Everyone does a bit of puff. All right, do they? It's just I don't, you don't, and nor does anyone we know. What are you talking about? I do it all the time. Oh, do you? Yes, but obviously not with you sados. I do it with me older mate. Has this imaginary mate got a name then? Look, I go around his, we get nicely stoned listening to music, a bit of reggae, or we go to gigs. Everyone does it at gigs. Just pass the puff around, share the love. The birds love it. Is it true it makes your teeth feel funny? Yeah, but I'm hardcore, so it doesn't really affect me. Well, it is true the effects are lessened if you only pretend to take it. Not that I have to prove anything to you, Mugs, but the other day we got his dog stoned and he got the munchies, so he ran away for an hour. When he'd come back, it nicked a packet of obnobs from the all-night garage. <laughs> what does that even mean? All you need to know is I can get you as much gear as you like, whenever you like. I don't want any, ever. I suppose when you think about it, everything's drugs, isn't it? No, not really. Yeah, you know, like beer, Disprin, uh, coffee, trainers, chicken nuggets, cling film, right, last of go. last. Plants, clothes, car tyres, calculators, wasps. Yeah, that's right. Simon's off to get his fix now. What size doing drugs? Yeah, he's addicted to crack, Neil. Carly's crack. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but here's a tip. Don't literally run after a girl you fancy. It makes you look needy, and unless they're desperate or mental, it won't work. <laughs> Really oh, sorry. It's OK. No, sorry, I really didn't mean to sit on you. No, cos that would be weird. Huh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. Are you in the lower six? Yeah. You've probably never noticed me before because I've just dyed my hair and suddenly grown a pair of tits. I'm, I'm Simon, by the way. I know. Tara. What are you eating? The enemy. I hate it. It's always wrong. It's basically shit. Still doesn't stop me buying it every week. Right, every week? Yep. So you buy it every week? Yeah. Not every week, though? Yes, every week. So every week? Are you broken? Have you got a head injury? So you're into music, then? Yeah, massively. I die without Spotify and I love going to gigs. Oh, yeah, the same. The same what? Same as what you said. Right. So have you been down the Enterprise, then? Um... Oh, just trying to... Um... There are loads of brilliant up-and-coming bands. Ah, oh, I can't quite... I don't know. Oh, I just, um... It's cool if you haven't. No, I don't think so. Well, you should. It's awesome. There's this band playing Friday for safe. Oh, they're amazing. Me and my mate are going. Sounds cool. I love gigs. I went to a big gig last year. Um, my mum took us to see Take That at Wembley Arena. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. We were quite far back. We were sort of on the side. But, um, no, they were awesome. And my mum went mental for it. Oh, well, to be honest, I don't think you'd like Failsafe. It's a slightly different vibe to take that. Oh, no, no, I, I would. I love all vibes. Failsafe, take that, reggae. I'd love to come, and I'll even bring the puff, if you like. Trucks? I didn't think that was your scene. Didn't you? No, when I'm at gigs, I always pass the puff around, share the love. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty cool like that, but I try and keep it on the down low. Wow, well, you're doing a great job. Great. Um, well, I'll see you Friday then, and I'll bring enough split puff for everyone. Even enough for your mum? <laughs> no. No, she won't be there. Stupid bitch. 
but I'll be there. With the drugs. Why the fuck did you say you bring drugs? You don't do drugs. I know, but she's fit and I panicked. So you're gonna supply her like some sort of pimp to a drug addled prostitute? Is that what you've become? Oh, calm down, Will. It's just a bit of puff. Everyone does it. Jay, you can sort me out, right? Slight problem on that front. What, in the past 15 minutes? Yeah, the mate's fucked off on a gap year to Afghanistan, trying to get some pure shit from Sauce. Of course he has. That's a fucking bunch, Jay. Will's right, you are a total bullshitter. Don't blame me. Drug dealers are unreliable. You could ask Donovan, Jay. Unless you're scared of him. Of course not. I've had a total remark untold times. I sort him out with Rizzler and Ting. Oh, so you're a news agent now as well as a liar. All right, I'll ask Donovan. Then, tomorrow night, when thanks to me, we're watching Simon get balls deep in Tara, we'll see who the liar is. Fine, we will. Probably be a bit weird if you two are there. I don't know what Donovan was smoking, but it made him spread butter like a maniac. What if he throws a toaster at you? Why would he do that? We're mates. Why are you? Sort of. What the fuck are you two queers doing? Checking out my arse or something? Right, come on, let's go. No, we just wanted a word. Prick. There's a word. Right, sorry. We wanted to ask if you could sort us some puff. <sighs> you lost your retarded mind? It's just Jay's mates in Afghanistan. What? No, nah, look, we'll pay. How much you got? About 20 quid. No, I'll do your special team twat deal. There you go. <laughs> nah, come on. What? Nah, come on, seriously, Mark, that's... Puff. Well, now it's tea, like normal tea. We just saw you empty the bags. You're calling me a liar. You're disrespecting me like that. No, it's just that you, you did it right in front of us. I'm going to give you a chance to apologise for that. Right, yeah, no, sorry, but... But what? Nothing. And? Thank you for the puff. Don't smoke it all at once. It was the night of Simon's date with Tara, and to mark the occasion, he had dressed like a dick. Are you actually going to wear that? Yes. Interesting. Look, if I'm going to get a girlfriend, I'm going to have to try a different plan than the one I have for Carly. Oh, was there a plan with Carly? I thought you just lurched from one disaster to another. Yeah, well, I know what I need to do with Tara. Just pretend to be someone that I'm not. That I go to gigs, wear hats, and most importantly, sort out D-R-U-G-S. Shh! My mum's in! So? She can spell. Ooh, you two look very smart. Where are you off to? Oh, um, we're just going to pick up Neil, then we're going to a gig. A gig? Wow. Yeah, I remember my first gig. In excess, Hammersmith Odeon. One of the band members went off stage, then came back on a skateboard. We all screamed. Yeah, looking back, I'm not sure why he did it. Huh. We're gonna go now. Well, have fun, and if anyone does offer you any D-R-U-G-S, be careful. What? I overheard you. Oh, it's okay, Petal. I know boys will be boys, but I can trust you to do the responsible thing. Very lucky to have you, because you're so boring. Boring? Well, not boring. Just scared of things. Scared? Sensible. That's the word I'm looking for. Sensible. You're very sensible, so I don't have to worry about you as much. Because you're so scared. Thanks, Mum. Instead of D-R-U-G-S, Jay had bought P-G-T-I-P-S, which he spent the last hour failing to roll up into a joint. I still can't believe you're going through with this, Sai. Oh, come on, Will. It's just the little spleef. <laughs> <laughs> Is that meant to be funny? Is that drug humour? All right, Cliff Richard. If you don't like it, fuck off. No, I'll stay and laugh at you. Jay, I've heard smoking's well bad for your chest. Can't we just, like, make tea with it instead? No. You can't make tea with this type, remember, Neil? Oh, yeah. Why not? Cos... It's stronger if you eat it. Oh, we could bake it into chocolate brownies. Cool. Delicious. Who knows your recipe? By Jenna Lawson. Look, we haven't got time to fucking bake cakes. My dad's gonna be able to pick us up in a minute. I just want to try it before I meet Tara. Well, I can cook toast and eggs. What about putting it in egg on toast? Would that work, Jay? Um, it might do. Drugs on eggs on toast. Are you not worried it might lead to harder stuff? Beans on toast? Maybe a sausage? Or I can make jelly. Right, fuck it, I'm bringing some hash tea. The one thing Jay didn't want Simon to do with the tea was make tea, because he'd find out it was tea. I told you, Simon, there were supply issues. The main issue being Donovan supplied you with tea. Oi! And so refreshed, but in no way high, Simon headed for his date with Tara. You lot seem very quiet tonight. Yeah, well, it's better than hearing non-stop bullshit. Language? What's that in your head, Simon? Oh, I don't know, Dad. Oh, yeah, it's a hat, obviously. God. 
Looks bloody stupid. We tried to tell him. He looked like a butcher. Pete Doherty wears them, actually. Pete Doherty's butcher wears them. Oh, I forgot you're a comedian as well as a cab driver. Oi, I'm doing you a favour. Why are you wearing it anyway? You've never worn anything like that before. He's meeting a bird. Neil! Knew it. You've got that look in your eye. What? Sort of an animal look. I've seen it when you watch TV sometimes. X Factor and that. What, when he says Louis Walsh? Funny. No, thankfully, Cheryl Cole. If his mum's in the room, he has to pop a pillow over his lap. <laughs> it wasn't exactly take that at Wembley Arena, but the Enterprise had everything you could want from a local music venue. Bar staff who didn't ask for ID, a worrying lack of fire exits, and a horrific smell from the toilets. Can you see Tara anywhere? I'll oh, just follow the puddles, mate. She's that fucking wet for you. Can you hear something, Will? I can smell bullshit, but I can't hear anything. Oh, stop being a baby. Simon, I think it's probably for the best that you don't have any drugs. I'm sure Tara will understand. Have you got a girlfriend? No. You know that. Then you excuse me if I don't give a shit what you think? You can share mine if you like, Si. I've got some tabs. What? Like LSD? No, I nicked some of my dad's sleeping pills. Apparently, if you mix them with Ribena, red wine and cough mixture, it gives you a well good buzz. Is the buzz crippling stomach acid? Oh yeah, no, it's good that. Like, mixing some Lucasade as well, it gives it a more crunchy buzz. Thanks, Neil, but I think Tara's expecting me to have some puff, so I'm fucked because someone is a total bullshitter. Fucking hell, if you're going to be so menstrual about it, I'll go and score some shit here. Oh, yes, off you go just score, Scarface. I will. You coming, Neil? Yeah, right. Oh, get some Ribena and wine, Si, half and half, yeah? It's got to be quite specific. Specific? Fucking Simon, I have to do everything for him. He'll probably want me to bone that girl for him, too. Show her how it's done properly. Exactly. So when you do it, do you do more like bump or grind? I was just thinking about whether it's best to bump or grind, because, I mean, you can only do one or the other when you think about it. Nah, not me, mate. No, I'll do both. And I'll slap. They all love a slap. You're not bullshitting me, are you? Oh, what? Neil, come on, mate. Sorry, it's just that you keep saying you can get loads of drugs, and so far the only drugs you've got is tea, and it just makes me think... Neil, don't, all right? Just don't, OK? I haven't scored any gear yet, because where am I supposed to get it from? My mate's in Afghanistan, I can't help that. And there's no-one here dealing. What about him? Shit. Right. Uh, yeah. You going over then? Yes. You better come too. You know, his muscle. Right, cool. Look hard. This might get tasty. Oh, can I have some gum? I ain't got any, I'm pretending. All right, mate. Hmm? My mate wanted to say something to you. Yeah? Sort me out, geezer. What? Please, sort me out, geezer. I've got 20 quid. So what? What do you want from me? You know, gear. Sweet Mary Jane. Get in, your man. Ah, oh, so you want to buy drugs? You came to me? Why? Well, because we saw you... Because I'm black. Saw a black guy at a gig, thought, must be a drug dealer. No, we didn't. You fucking white boys are all the same. You know, you scratch beneath the surface just a little bit and you're racist. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Racist. But have you got any drugs? Yes, I have, but that's not the point. Point is, you assumed I had some just because I'm black. Could we buy some, please? Well, why should I deal to you? Hmm? Why should I deal to two little suburban racists who see me as some kind of a stereotype? I'm at university. But you're a drug dealer as well, yeah? Yes, I do deal, but you keep missing the point. Look, here's 30 quid. Can we just have some puff? Yes, you can. But only because I'm a dealer, not because I'm black. Now, fuck off. Can you roll it up for us, please? If ever there was an advertisement for drugs not being cool, Jay was it. My first ever gig was in full swing, and as Simon searched for his date, I was enjoying it, in a way. Do you like the taste of beer? I don't know if I do, actually. What the fuck's this? What? Oh, hi! I didn't realise Pete Doherty was coming along. Is he? No, I mean you, you twat. Oh, right, because of the hat? No, because you fucked Kate Moss. Obviously it's the hat. Hi, I'm Will. Are you the guy who shit himself in the exam? Yup. Now, Tara, don't you think it's just cool here, great vibe, no need to drink too much or take anything to make it better? Could not get better, could it? Jay sorted it. No way. Yep, no bullshit, he's totally done it. The man even rolled one up for us. Oh, cool. Yeah, of course. He's waiting outside. I don't want to be a killjoy, but I just think you should remember that what you're about to do is illegal. So is doing bombs in the swimming pool, but I do that because it's fun, yeah? Come on, Simon. Technically, that's not illegal. I didn't know which was worse, that my friend was about to do drugs just to impress a girl, or the smug look on Jay's face. Here we go, boys and girls. Oh, cool. Nice. So you actually got it, then? 
Look, when I say I'm going to deliver, I fucking deliver. Like a postman with Tourette's? All right, who's first? I've never done it before. Haven't you? No, go on, Simon, show me how. Maybe Jay should go first, because he sorted it. Only fair. Nah, nah, cool. Taking a breather. I smoked one the size of a parsnip whilst I was waiting for you latecomers. Or maybe ladies first, so that is you. No, I'm nervous. Go on. OK, all right, I suppose. I couldn't really blame Simon. If I thought a fit girl like Tara might get off with me, I'd probably mainline heroin into my eyeball. Great. Oh, that was really great. Here you go. What? You didn't even inhale. You've got to take it right in like a cigarette. Oh, yeah. I oh, know. No, sometimes I do it that way because it just gets your um, cheeks nicely stoned. But no, I'll, I'll have a go your way. <coughs> that definitely went in that time. Right in the lungs. <laughs> Tara? Cool. How are your cheeks feeling now? Have they got the munchies? Can I have a go, please? All oh, right, sorry. This is cool. Just us here, smoking a fat old doobie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hanging out by some bins near a skip, in the cold, doing drugs. Oh, it's very cool. Very cool indeed. Mm. Oh, yeah, that is good weed. Neil? No, I'm all right. I've got my sleeping tabs. What about the Ribena and wine? I had that earlier. It all gets mixed up in my tummy anyway, so it should be all right. What about you, just say no? Are you still too scared? Oh, yes, I'm scared. Scared that you three won't think I'm cool enough to hang out with anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no, fell safe. Shit, we can't miss them. No way, Jose. <laughs> Come on, then, guys. No, you're all right, Jose. <laughs> I was questioning my beliefs. If winners don't do drugs, how come Simon was off with lovely Tara whilst I was stuck with two morons, half a lager and a bottle of cough syrup? Oh, I'm definitely feeling something now. This is good weed. I might try and get shipment in for Glastonbury. Yes, I mean, it's the next logical step from buying a small amount for you and a friend, dealing to 70,000 people in a field. Why, why keep it down? You never know who's listening. Who? Old Bill? Undercover bacon? These places are usually crawling with filth. I've got to keep on my guard. I think I'm coming up. How many singers are on stage? It looks like five. Oh, I don't know. Ask Professor Downer, he'll know. Just because you've had a puff on your first joint doesn't mean you Kurt Cobain. Look, if you want to be a mummy's boy, that's fine. But stop trying to bring us down, man. Am I a mummy's boy because I refuse to bow to peer pressure? Or am I, in fact, the opposite? You're a mummy's boy. Come on, pal. Have a puff. Show us you're not scared. Well, I would, but I don't actually smoke because... Oh, what's that thing you get when you smoke? Sex? No, cancer, Neil. Well, fine, eat it, then. I could do, but as I keep explaining, I have no interest in getting, as you say, high. I feel brilliant. Well, from the outside, you seem basically the same, but a bit more boring. It's all right, Neil. He's scared. Of course. Scared. Give it here, then. Right, happy now? So you can shut up about how you like to chase the bloody dragon. I've had some, I feel fine, let's move on. Fucking hell, not all of it! You, you've eaten all of it! Yes, so in my life I've had even more drugs than you, and I still think it's pathetic. I told you to keep that on the down low. He looks federal. So while I tried to work out what federal meant, Simon was experiencing moshing for the first time, which is a bit like being beaten up to music. At my Mensa meeting, things were starting to happen. Tuesday then, yeah? Are you all right, Neil? You're dribbling. Yeah, thanks. You can have it back Tuesday. When it came to killing off brain cells, Neil had very little room for manoeuvre. Meanwhile, Tara, being a combination of stoned and concussed, was working in Simon's favour. Is your nose OK? My nose is OK, but I still feel a bit queasy. If I see the boat that did it, I'll... You know. You what? Dunno. Did you say grr? I think I did. Oh, grr. <laughs> like a tiger. I'm Tony the tiger. Grr. <laughs> grr. Grr. Grr.
I'm sure pretending to be a big cat or a slow-moving robot wasn't the standard reaction to doing drugs, but I would have taken either of those over what was going on in my head. I don't want to sound mental, but I'm starting to feel a bit like I'm in a bubble. Is this what being high is? Do you feel like you're in a thick bubble? No, it's cool. I, I feel pretty nice. Like, up, but down, but chilled, but, like, ready to do it. Oh, God, this isn't good. I feel unusual. Why did you let me eat it? Why? My arms feel odd. Oh, just shut up. Enjoy it. Jay, I think I'm going wrong. Time is going by. Really, 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 really slowly. You need to call an ambulance right now, because I can't use the phone, my arms don't work, and my hands are sausages. <laughs> Fuck off. Jay, I'm serious. You feel miles away. I think I might be dying. What if I'm a dead person? Please call an ambulance. I can't call an ambulance because they'll bring the fucking police and I'll get done for dealing. And it looks like this, if I go to prison, my anal virginity won't last a day. But... My hands... I'm not calling an ambulance, so stop being a baby and just ride it out. Oh, God. Neil, Neil. You've got to help me. Everything is going flat and I think I might be dead. Huh? Help me! I'm getting random arm movements! Sleepy time, sleepy time. So I couldn't rely on Neil, but I knew one thing for sure. I had to stop my fucking arms. Can I take something? I don't know, can you? You just did, so probably <laughs> yes. OK, clever clogs, can I do something? Depends what it is. Tara, what did you want to do? Oh, this. I have a sick. It's got to be the joint. I shouldn't have done it. Right, um, maybe stick your fingers down your throat, try and get it all up, and then we can go again. Yeah, I think I can make it to the toilet, don't move. Listen, Simon, this is very important information. Call an ambulance and tell them I'm in a bubble and everything is very flat. I'm a bit busy here, Will. Can you look after yourself? I can't stop my arms. Look how random my arms are. Help me. Look, I'm in here, Will. Can you please fuck off? Didn't make it. I needed help. Jay was useless, Neil was getting an early night, and Simon was too busy licking vomit off Tara's tonsils. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. I really needed help. How could I get help? Hello. Hello, everyone. Can somebody call me an ambulance? Because I'm in trouble. Time is moving really, really slowly, and everything is flat. I need you to call me an ambulance, or failing that, my mummy. I really want my mummy because, and I'm not being dramatic, but I think I might be dead. Is that clear? Mummy or ambulance? I don't remember the details of that night especially well, but I do know that despite their love of violence, the bouncers were surprisingly kind to me. Which could only mean I looked proper mental. Are you sure it was just cannabis you took? I ate it. I'm really sorry. Is, is my mummy coming? Can you make my arms stop? We'll do our best. Wagwan. Oh, someone called an ambulance and they're taking him away? Oh, fucking Jesus, oh no. It wasn't me that sold it right, not me. Oh, shit, the blue lights. It's an ambulance. That's what they want you to believe! It'd have been a week of firsts. Our first gig. Our first drugs, the first time we had to admit Jay had delivered on one of his bullshit claims, Simon's first actual girlfriend, and the first time I spent two days in bed silently crying and trying to make the walls stop moving. <laughs>